I like to do my breath work sitting up, but if you prefer to lay down, it's all about being comfortable. The most important thing is that you feel the straightness of your spine. And if you're new to breath work, don't put any pressure on yourself, just go with the flow. There's no right, there's no wrong. So let's just start hands down on the thighs, close the eyes, and just start to take nice deep breaths in through the nose. And then breathe out through the mouth with a sigh. Inhale. Let go. This is just consciously breathing. You're taking a breath in and you're breathing it out. And if you're sitting up, just gently pull your chin in slightly. And if you're laying down, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the teeth. Nice long breath in and letting go. So each breath in is a reset or an opportunity for a new beginning. A lot of the times we feel like we have to wait till the next day to have a new start or a new go at something or a new Monday or a new week. But actually, you can just take a new breath whenever you like it. So breathing in and letting go. do five more breaths like this inhale let go take a breath in and just take a gentle hold of the breath so pulling in maybe gently pull your belly button in and just check in just relax the shoulders relax your eyes relax your teeth relax your tongue just keep holding that breath and then breathing out of a sigh. Okay, so we're gonna have a little bit of holotropic breath work tonight. So we're gonna be breathing in through the nose and if you can, breathing out through the nose. And we're just gonna start to build energy in the body. And this is really, really good for releasing happy hormones and just resetting your emotions. And sometimes if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed or you've got lots of things that you need to get done for the day but your energy might not be too great, this is a really nice little like little bit of a burst and it's also great to also do before bed because it can also like declutter your mind so if you've got a lot going on up there and you're like Ugh, it's a good one so you can have your eyes closed or open I prefer to have my eyes closed and I'd like you to focus on your third eye the space between your eyebrows and we're just going to breathe in it's going to be a so really easy inhale exhale And you can have your hands down or palms up. I like to have my hands down to ground. Just really gentle and focus on breathing at your belly button in and out. If you can get on the beat, in and out. Soften that face, soften the jaw. So your breath is at your belly your eye gaze is between your eyebrows, your third eye, your intuition, your inner knowing, your guidance all around you to trust your body's wisdom with your universe. And just so you're in the loop with me, we're going to be going for another minute or so. So it's nice, gentle, in and out. Keep the body still and just breathe at the belly. Let it go. Thirty more seconds. In, let go. Maybe put a little smile on your. Mouth. Let your body know you are safe. And you are your body. You are rebirthing. We've got five more. Take a breath in and pull it all up to the top of your head. When you can't breathe in anymore, hold the breath. Squeeze your pelvis. 
So the one go for a wave, pull them up, pull your belly button in, and pull your energy and put the energy from the bottom of your spine all the way up the top of your head. You'll feel the energy, feel the fluid, that's your anti-aging fluid, that's your life force energy. Focus on your third eye. And I want you to focus on what are you wanting to focus on this week? What do you want to bring into your world? Is it abundance? Is it love? Is it joy? Is it peace? What is it you're calling in? If you need to release the breath, you can release it. If not, just keep holding for a few more seconds and breathe it out. Just take some gentle breaths in through the nose and out through the nose or mouth. Just watch your breath, watch your energy. Right, we're gonna get back on that wheel. So back in through the nose, out through the nose. And as you're breathing in, imagine white light filling up your body, recharging every cell in your body, giving you permission to feel good. And every time you breathe out, you're breathing out all that goodness to the universe as well, because it's a give-take relationship with our universe and our body. So what you give to the universe, they will give back in exchange. So the more power you put out there and the more regenerating, the more they're gonna give you regenerating and love and healing. Breathwork is something I do every single day now because it just makes me feel really good. Even on the day I feel like I keep pushing through it because it's what I need. The great thing about breathwork is there's over hundreds of different styles that you can do. So you don't have to get fixated on doing the same thing. If maybe you need a slower breath in the mornings and maybe you need a more deeper breath in the evenings. So we're going to be going for one more minute. And the thing is with breath work, the more you put in, the more you do get back. So maybe you can take a deeper breath in and a deeper breath out. And the more you breathe at your belly, the more you're gonna give your organs a chance to stretch. And we know how good stretching is for us. So you're stretching out to release old toxins, old body fat. So in, let it go, in. Last 30 seconds. And we breathe out 70% of our toxins and that includes body fat. So the more you put in, like I said, the more you're gonna get back. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, deep breath in, pull it in. Your legs. Squeeze the pelvic muscles, relax the shoulders, belly button locks in and energy shoots up to the throat, to the third eye and out through the crown of your head. Keep holding. And Deepak Chopra says, you choose the age you stay at, so maybe you can manifest what was your favorite age or is it now? Where would you like to stay and just be in the body? And that I'm a healthy, you know what? 32 was some of my most favorite memories. So I'm a healthy 32 year old. And I'm just gonna own that. Maybe you're a healthy 18 year old. Keep holding that breath, regenerate yourself. I'm a healthy 32 year old with the wisdom that I've accumulated throughout my path so far to guide me. Release the breath. Now take a big breath in and hold that. Hold, squeeze the pelvic floor muscles. Push your energy, your anti-aging energy up to the top of your head. And it's really nice to rest your tongue on the roof of your mouth behind your front teeth. 
Release the breath with a sigh. Now just go back to that normal inhale and let it go. And now just almost relax and let the breathing breathe you. So you just sit in your energy. Take any breath that you feel you need. You might be getting vibrations in your body and tingling. You might feel floaty. You might feel like you're barely breathing. All right, we've got one more round. We're going to two, take two breaths in through the nose. Like a, and then you're going to breathe up through the mouth. So you're breathing at the belly, in for two and let go. I won't breathe down the microphone the whole way for you, so you just go at your pace. If it's too fast, slow it down. If you want to go fast, go faster. This kind of breathing is like you're... You know when you plug your phone in to recharge yourself, you are recharging yourself with the fast charge battery, not the slow one. Not the battery that takes like seven hours to charge. So it's in for two, out for one. Keep that spine nice and straight if you're sitting up and enjoy the sensations coming into your body. Allow yourself to receive. Receive the energy you create. Receive the love that you are generating and receive the healing that you are creating for you. You are worthy to heal. You are worthy to love. You are worthy to give love and to receive love. You are amazing and you know it. You've got 20 more seconds. Empower yourself, love yourself, heal yourself. Last five, four, three. Take a big breath, slowly in, pull the energy up, pull the pelvic floor muscles in, press the belly button into the spine. Pull your anti-aging fluid up to the top of your head. Keep holding. If you need to breathe, you can, but try and keep holding. Focus on what you're calling in. Love, abundance, wealth, success, health. What is it? Balance. Peace, creativity, call it in. Patience. Last five, four, three, two. Release the breath with a sigh. Take a deep breath in and hold. Focus on your intention. This week, my focus is to surrender. I'm just going to surrender to whatever comes into my world and just be open to receive and open to give. Release the breath. <sighs> Hands on your legs if they're up. Let's do some circles around. Let's move that spine. Oh, yes. Any direction you want. And then change in direction. Oh, my bum is aching from earlier. Sweep your arms up. Hands in a prayer. Close your eyes. So for those of you on catch up, hopefully it's maybe a Monday or a Tuesday and early in the week. But like we've been working with setting an intention at the beginning of the week. And my intention this week is to surrender. What is your intention? What would you like to work on this week? Is it more self-love, more balance, more peace, more harmony? What would you like to have more of or do more of to enhance your life?
And the reason I've decided to surrender this week is because I've spent my whole life controlling every possible outcome and my mind never gives me a break. So this week I'm surrendering, I'm letting whatever ebb and flow into my world and I'm just going to see what that feels like where I'm not planning and worrying about everything every five minutes. I want to feel freedom. In order to feel freedom, I need to surrender. So let's come over to our hands and knees. Start cat cow in the spine, push the hips forwards, tuck the chin in, arch um, around the shoulders. Inhaling through the nose, arch the back, lift up the head, looking up. So we're breathing out through the nose, push the pelvis floor forwards. We're inhaling to arch to look up. Gosh, it's so nice that it's light out still. One more time, push. Inhale, I still need to change the time on my oven because it's still saying quarter past six. <laughs> Tuck your toes, take a downward dog, have a pedal. Wiggle your hips, turn your head. I want you to give your arms a big kiss. Go on. Mwah. Mwah. I want you to give yourself some self-love. Press both heels towards the floor, stretch your upper body, maybe bend your knees, breathe. Step your right foot behind your right hand. If it doesn't get there, pick it up and put it there and put your left behind your left. Bend in your knees deeply, hug your elbows and just take some deep nourishing breaths here. Feel the stretch running from the legs, the back of the legs, all the way across your back, into your third eye, your, your intuitive nature connecting so that you have the ability to sense things before they even happen, to trust in your path, to know you're heading in the right direction. Take one more breath. As you breathe out, very, very slowly, you're coming up to standing. Keep hold of your elbows so you don't go toppling over. Send your energy up to the sky, to the heavens. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, sweep your hands up to the sky. Coming all the way down, bend your knees, touch the floor. Placing your hands to a halfway lift, look forwards. Straight arms, straight back, straight spine. As you exhale, plant your hands on the floor. Step your right knee back and put it on the mat. Send your hands up to the sky. Big stretch in low lunge. As you exhale, bring your fingers to the floor. Lift your right leg off, knee off the mat and step back to plank. Option to drop to your knees or stay on your toes. Chest comes to the floor. You lower your heart down. Untuck your toes. Slide your hips like a snake, taking a baby cobra, shoulders away from ears. Tuck your toes, coming onto your knees, sit back, child's pose. Bring your forehead on the mat and take a big sigh in through the nose and out through the nose. As we exhale, take a downward dog, pedal your feet. And we bend the knees very, very deeply, looking at the hand, step the right foot or grab it and put it behind the right hand and bring the left foot next to the right. Try and get them to touch. Halfway lift, inhale through the front heart. Exhale, forward fold, tuck your chin in, looking down towards your knees. Breathing in to rise up to the sky. Exhale, fold all the way back down the middle of the mat. Halfway lift. So we come up to our legs, arms and back are straight, looking forwards. Exhale, bend in your knees, step your left knee, put it gently on the floor. Sweep your energy up, take a big breath in, low lunge. Just feel the stretch in the fingers, into the hip. Hands on the floor, lift your left knee off the mat, step back to plank. Either staying on your toes or dropping to your knees, coming down. Elbows scrape past your ribs. Slide forwards, cobra. Taking your downward dog, have a little pedal. Bend your knees deeply. Step your left and your right to the front of the mat. 
coming up for halfway lift look forwards exhale to fold inhale sweep the energy up take your arms open wide come into chair pose bend your knees push your hips back take a breath in look at your toes and make sure you can see your big toes inhale exhale get lower taking one more breath here as we breathe out get a bit lower Ooh, didn't know I could get that low. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, hands to floor. Step your right toes back. Followed by your left, take plank. You can go to downward dog or you can take a chaturanga depending on your practice. So chest comes down, knees or toes. Untuck. Take baby cobra, peel yourself up or maybe you come into upward dog and your thighs lift off the mat if you're feeling more advanced taking that downward dog okay feet are hip width apart look at your hands for me and make an L shape with your thumb and first finger and your middle finger faces forwards little fingers splayed out your elbows rotate inwards to lengthen your shoulder blades right leg lifts up open the hip by bending the right knee and keep your shoulders facing the front of the mat look at your left knee and have a small bend in it as you exhale looking at the hands step the right foot between the thumbs and if it does not get there pick it up and put it there we stand up for a high lunge breathe in push your left heel forwards arms come up to prayer take a breath lift up the chin as you exhale, bend your right knee and push your left heel forwards. Take in one more breath here. As you exhale, bring your hands to the floor, step back to downward dog. So we do the same on the left side, left leg lifts up. Open the hip, bend the left knee. Small bend in your right knee and lengthen your arms away from the front of the mat. You're listening to Perry Max, Take beats. one more breath left foot between the thumbs look where you're going step it or guide it push your right heel forward standing up high lunge bend in your left knee palms push together take an inhalation as you exhale can you bend your left knee and push your right hip forward a little bit more inhaling feel that strength in your legs tonight feel that strength just by holding stillness one more breath well done warriors take a downward dog option to take a chaturanga if you're feeling it we can roll to plank option to drop to your knees or stay in on your toes coming chest down upward dog or cobra downward dog we lift up the right leg opening that hip breathe in as we exhale step the right foot between the thumbs Stand up for high lunge, breathe into the fingertips. Now sink into that front leg, push the left heel forwards. And as you breathe out, see if you can just move your upper chest back a little bit so you feel that stretch in your belly button. Reach your right arm forward, left arm opens back, warrior two. So we want the hips open and the heart open in line with the edge of the mat. Bend in your right knee, left leg is straight, squeeze your shoulder blades together and you want your right ankle in line with your right knee. So if you need to adjust, you can. Take one more breath here, feeling strong in that warrior too. As you exhale, bring your right elbow to fire, left arm up to sky. Now if your shoulder's collapsing, push your shoulder down and reach your other one up, taking one more breath here. As you exhale, reverse the warrior. Breathe. So left arm reaches down, right arm reaches up, maybe looking towards your right elbow. Take a breath in. As you exhale, straighten your right leg. Turn your toes to point inwards. If your legs are too wide, bring them in. So we're gonna either put our hands on our hips, or I like to slide my hands down my legs. Maybe you grab your ankles and look towards your belly button as you breathe in. As you exhale, sink in a bit deeper. You might need a small bend in the back of your knees so you're not overstretching the back of your legs. Slowly rising up. 
We're going to take our warrior two back to the front of the mat. Looking down the right fingertips, bend your right knee. Turn to face the front of the mat. Pivot onto your left tiptoes. Take him downward dog. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. If you want to put a chaturanga in, you can. If not, you can stay in your downward dog and take a couple of breaths here. So the chaturangas are there to increase intensity, but if it's too much, take downward dog, or if at any point it gets too much, you take child's pose, big toes come together, forehead comes down, and you just grieve and recover. This is your session. You do what works for you. Okay, left leg's gonna come up. Open the hip by bending the left knee. Left foot steps between thumbs. Push the right heel forward. High lunge, rising up, breathe. Bend your left knee and sink with your right hip, please. Woo, square your hips, take a breath in. And as you exhale, open your right foot to the sides. Bend in your left knee, warrior two. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, left elbow to left thigh, right arm to sky. Inhale. As you exhale, reverse in the warrior. Drop the right arm down, left arm up, breathe. And then lengthen in the left leg, turning the toes to face inwards. Let's take that fold. Maybe you put your hands through your legs this time, or maybe you grab your ankles or grab your toes. Just taking a breath here. As you exhale, sink a bit deeper. Slowly rising up to standing. Come back to that warrior two at the front of your mat. Left leg is bent. Breathe. Look down your left fingertips. And as you breathe out, both hands to floor, take in either chaturanga or your downward dog. Doing what feels right for you right now. Good. Taking five breaths in down dog or child's pose. So just breathe. Let's come back to that intention. What are we focusing on this week? I am surrendering. I am trusting in the unknown. That is my mantra for this week. I'm even surrendering in child's pose right now. What does your body need rather than what do you tell it it needs? Taking one more breath. And when you're ready, just come in to sit on your bottom. My body is like screaming at me. She's like, I'm tired, Amy. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna listen to you. <laughs> so right leg out, left leg in, seated tree. We're just gonna fold forwards and just surrender over our leg. Just taking some nice deep breaths in. If this is very tight, just going down very mildly. Don't force and just try and relax. You wanna feel a stretch down the side of the rib. This one's really good for helping us ground ourselves. If our emotions have been a bit high and a bit erratic, this is a great pose to sort of bring calmness to the body so you can allow whatever emotion needs to come through and allow it to come up for you to acknowledge it, release it and heal it. When we hold sadness in our body, it starts to imprint everywhere else around us. Give yourself permission to feel it and then let it go. Change the story. Change the frequency. And changing the frequency sometimes means you need to reach out for help or you need to connect or even just move your body differently to change that vibration from the inside out. Taking one more breath here. Rising up slowly. Switch the legs over. A 
just folding down and breathe. If your legs are really tight, bend your knees a little bit on the front leg that's extended. Try and breathe at your belly and just let your body know it's safe to let go. That's the great thing with yoga is you can deepen the stretch by deepening your breath. So the longer the breath in and the slower the breath out, the more the body opens. It doesn't have to be this, I've got an overstrain. Be a gentle stretch. Every time you're breathing out, you're just trying to let go somewhere, whether it's in the mind or the body. Let it go. Slowly coming up. Bringing the soles of the feet together. Bring them close to your groin if you can. And you're going to use your elbows to open them out. If you want, you can push down on the legs. Just breathe, tuck the chin in, this is our butterfly. And again, this is where we hold the emotions in the hips. So maybe say hello to your hips, have a look at them and ask them, what are you storing in there? What do you need to let me know that needs to come out to help me change my frequency, my energy? Because it's not just about sadness, like the hips are where we get happiness, our abundance, our joy. If you've got all that sadness in there, then it's blocking all the other vibrations that want to come through. So each time you're breathing out, maybe you get lower, but again, please don't force this. Might be up higher. Everything opens in time. Everything comes in time. Take in one more breath. Slowly coming up. Open both the legs out. So you can feel mild sensation in there. Don't force this. This might be enough and you can just lean forward a little bit. If you want, you can lean forward. So just find mild tension in the groin and just tip. If you want to put pillows in front of you, you can. And what emotions keep coming through for you? Because they're normally a little clue or a little pattern on something that maybe you're ready to let go of and shed. How can you let go of these to make more space for new things coming in? Because what we tend to do is get rid of old stuff and then fill it with old other baggage. <laughs> so could we keep the space clear? Now, if you want to bring more peace into your world and then you get rid of loads of stuff in your life, maybe you have a clear out of old friends and an old job and an old situation that makes you feel a bit shit, and then you fill it with new things that don't make you feel very good, we're not learning our lessons. And the universe will always test you. Oh, you, you, that's what you want? Okay, let me test you. Oh no, you didn't really want that because you just filled that with that again. Last 10 seconds here, open up those hips. Happy hips, happy heart. I always feel so much better once I've opened my legs. <laughs> slowly, slowly coming up. Hands underneath the thighs, bringing them in. We're gonna come into right leg forwards, left leg back. Now you can extend the leg fully if you like and fold, or you can have that knee bent and just folding down into swan pose. So just taking a couple of breaths there, I'm just gonna flick the lights on because it suddenly got really dark. <sighs> so 
So right legs forwards, holding over. You want a sensation in your right glute, relax your shoulders, relax your eyebrows. If you want to rest your head on the floor, you can. So if we bring awareness to maybe some emotions that need to come through, this pose is now really good to help you make a decision on what action you might need to take to help process those emotions. I find that an action for me is journaling or doing yoga or talking about something. What action would help you if you're feeling a bit stuck somewhere at the moment? I think a holiday would help me, actually. Like, being abroad in the sun. If I'm totally honest, that is exactly what I need. What is it that you need? And just say it out loud so you can let yourself hear it and go, yep, actually, I cannot disagree with that. It's 100% right. And then if you say it and you figure something out, then be like, well, what's stopping me? Why haven't I done that? Why haven't I took action? And how can I take action on this? Take two more breaths here and then we're going to change leg. Alright, very, very slowly. Come up if you're down, tuck your back toes if your leg's out and then we're going to switch. Take your time. You can have the back leg bent or you can have it straight. Target area is front booty glute, folding down, breathe. Give yourself this time to feel into your emotions and tap into your inner wisdom of what actions would make you feel good. It always makes me feel great going to bed super early. I need to make sure I do that more often. <laughs> and really breathe at your belly here, please. The reason a lot of time we don't take action is because we get stuck in fight, flight and freeze mode because we breathe at the chest rather than the belly. The belly allows us to go into rest and digest mode when we breathe there, which means we can be more calm and logical with our thinking. Remove that stressy thought pattern. Taking two more luscious, long breaths in. Make them count. You are worthy of slowing down, even with your breath. <sighs> Slowly. Coming up. Tuck your toes, pedal your feet, have a little pedal, pedal, that's it. Come down onto your knees. Not done with you yet. Come onto your belly. So we're gonna look at my left elbow, and bend my left knee. I'm gonna grab the, around my foot. Right hand comes forwards. We're just gonna kick the leg up. Just take a little stretch the back bend. Just breathe. 
like a bow, half a bow. Do a mild stretch on your lower back. And then coming down to switch sides. Just gently grab the foot, kick it into the hand. Put, lengthen the chin up, take a breath. Exhale, step up. And slowly lowering down, just take a moment, just reset. We're gonna do that again, but you're gonna grab both legs if you feel comfortable, or you can do single leg and I'll tell you when to change. Hmm. Okay, you ready? Either do two legs or one at a time. If you've got two, that's great. If not, don't stress, everything comes with time. Kick the feet back, lift the thighs, Take a breath, you're doing one arm, take two breaths and then change the other side. If not, we're going to stay here for four breaths. Try and kick the legs back more. Try and squeeze the shoulder blades together. If you've done one leg change. Slowly coming down. Legs out long, just make a pillow for your head. Just take a couple of deep breaths in and out. And I want you to breathe in between the shoulder blades and breathe in that strength coming from the sun. Feel the sun just kissing every single cell on your body and heating you up, regenerating, restoring and loving you. knowing that breath that we created at the beginning, that was your sun energy, you supercharged you to nourish you. You are your own personal sun and you can tap into that energy whenever you need it. And even when the sun looks like it's not here, she's always there behind the clouds. Just like you're always there for you. Even on the days when you might feel gloomy and cloudy, that fire is in there every single day. I am strong, I am enough, and I am worthy. Slowly coming up onto your hands and knees. Sitting on your heels. Separate who you are. Keep the arms up. Know that you are powerful. Know that you are loved. And know that you are enough. Namaste. Hope you sleep amazing. If you need me, you know where I'm at.